Hello folks, my name is Tom Johnson. I own and operate Johnson Auto RV. Today I want to let you take a peek at uh, something I just got on the lot. It's a 2013 Coachman Chaparral 345 BHS. This is something that's just a tough one to get because it's got two bathrooms, it's got a bath and a half in it, and um, everybody likes that. The kids keep their own bathroom, uh, separate living quarters, that kind of thing. We're going to take you through the whole thing. There's a lot to it. So let's get started right up front here. Um, first off, as you can see, it's got the strong arm braces up front for the legs, which is uh, just a great feature. You don't get any shake. I mean, the wind comes or whatever. You get these in a campsite, tighten them down, you just get a, a stiffer uh, trailer instead of having the post up front. A lot of people like doing the, the triangle post up front, and this is just way better of a way to stiffen up your legs on your car because you can, in a lot of wind, get a little shake to them. But all the front, everything in this trailer is in great shape. Um, up front it's got the cut for your, you can put a short box truck be in front of it and still get it in without having a slide hitch. It's nice having that cut front end like that. The engineer, just so you can get that done. It's got the lighting up front for dock lights. It's got just a lot of extra stuff as we're going to go through this, this whole trailer. Let's go right down the side here real quick. Of course it's got the gel coat outside, which is great. Doesn't fade as much. It's got a power awning on it. Uh, that must be like a 19, 21 foot awning, all in good shape. It's got the slam latch for it, which is really nice instead of the turn buckles. Lots of pass through storage. I mean, just a huge area as far as carrying whatever you want. Two 30 pound tanks, one up front to the right. These things you just more or less have to slam them, just like that, and they work just fine. 30 pounder here, 30 pound on the other side, LP tanks. Um, of course, outside speakers, electric awning, uh, aluminum rims, all the rubbers in great shape, just like brand new. Um, 10, pound, 10 gallon hot water heater, two doors, which is always nice because this is for access to the other bathroom and um, the other bedroom in the back. We'll get there. Then we come down to the the um, outside kitchen and we have your refrigerator right here just a smaller electric 110 refrigerator and your gas stove Coleman gas stove which is really nice don't look like it's been used a lot that's for sure lots of covers up to the front. Just a real nice setup. A lot of people love those outside kitchens, which I can understand why. We go around the back and force your ladder for the back end. Nice shine off your gel coat side. That's what's nice about a gel coat side. They just they don't fade away like uh, some of the regular fiberglass sides do. Now yeah, let's see what we got back here. You got your 50 amp service right here, sewer hookups. We got a service center up front here, a service area right here for your sewer clean out. You got your winterizing right there. Uh, your waste, the, the whole thing. It's what's really nice is just having it all. Fill your fresh water right here. This outside shower right there. The other side of your pass-through storage, of course. One side to the next. 30 pound tank. This is your crank, manual crank. In case you lose power or whatever, of course, you've got, you've got the crank in there and you can crank it right there to up or down. So let's take you around the front, and uh, well, we got dock lights right here. I didn't show you that part, but got a front light there and dock lights, and that's your power for your jacks up. Then we got storage in up front also in there. Let's take you to the front. All right, let's take you inside here. First off, we got lots of glass, which makes it a lot of light coming in. So you're not going to be sitting here in some back end of some of these fifth wheels can get pretty dark when you've got a, a kitchen in the back or you've got an uh, entertainment center in the back but this gives you the light from all the sides got hard surface counters tons of room there's one thing about this lots of room for your kitchen 
three burner stove, of course, with the oven, microwave, storage everywhere, up here, up on top there, in your slide, lots of storage. This makes into a bed, this, this will sleep a lot of people. I mean, two, four, I mean, you could sleep uh, seven or eight people in this camper. There's a lot of, lot of space for people. To, this makes into a, a full bed right here, the couch does. And this will drop, of course, into a bed also. The bigger fridge here. Let's take you back to the, to the rear bathroom, the half bath. I guess you call it that. There's no tub, but uh, it's nice to have that extra bath. A lot of people like that. And then right back into the kids' bedroom. You have your closet space, and you got three bunks. Nice with a hard door on it. Makes it nice. Storage down below. Just um, got their own little room here. Let's take you forward here real quick. Master bathroom. It's got a queen bed. Got a nice hard door right here to start out with, and uh, which makes it nice. A slider that goes into the bathroom right there. Got your queen bed. There's storage underneath here. All that lifts up. Lots of storage in these campers. The fifth wheels always have more than you need. Big closet. Up front, um, lots of lots of drawers. Put everything you need. If you're interested in this trailer, I mean, it's it's something I know that certain families look for. It's got the rear bedroom in it with an extra bathroom. That is a real popular feature. But this is an extremely nice, clean camper. There's warranty on these uh, units. Um, it's all been gone through, checked out. If you're interested in this camper, give me a call. Once again, my name is Tom Johnson. Johnson Auto RV. My phone number is 231-750-3045. And thanks for watching.